first of all, it's super, super windy today and it's a little warm and it doesn't help that this one's sitting here panting, shaking the trailer. So people often ask us about our composting head. It's a nature's head, composting toilet. We have two composting heads on our catamaran and one in the trailer. And we gave this thing a test in our recent 23 night trip. So we rarely go to full hookup sites. Uh, most of the time we dry camp at a campground or a boondock at a harvest host, a winery, cheese farm. And a lot of people have asked us why we've installed these heads. Um, in the trailer, it was to both save on water consumption and also to eliminate our black water tank. When Jim removed the RV toilet, he connected both the gray and black water tanks to give us double the tankage. <laughs> She's really panting. <laughs> She's hot. So um, this enables us to dump way less often and actually not have to fill our fresh water tank anywhere near as often. I mean, think about how much water is used every time you flush an RV head. It's crazy. A lot of water. It, it uses your fresh water and fills that black tank. What we do have to do on a daily basis, and we cannot forget, is to empty the liquid tank. If we're at a campground with restrooms or a dump station, we can take it right over there to dump it. If uh, we're at a winery or someplace, uh, somebody's house, we use a funnel and pour it into our plumbing system that goes down to our gray and black tanks, our combined tanks. So besides the wind, this is what's shaking the trailer. She's just hot. And here I'm making her work. So on this recent trip, we spent the first night at a campground dry camping, then two nights at Harvest Host wineries in Southern Oregon, and then on to Armitage Park in Eugene, where we did have full hookups. So we did go through water there, showered, left there with empty gray water tanks and a little bit of water in the fresh water tanks. Then we headed up to our sister-in-law's house and spent three nights in her front yard. We did use her toilet and her shower a lot there though. After the time in our sister-in-law's house, we went to a dry campground and then another one with electrical and water. We used a dump station there. Uh, with some fresh water and empty gray tanks, we headed further north and spent two nights dry camping at a nice campground, used their restrooms and showers, and then four harvest hosts, and so no dumps there. And we do often fill our tanks with our five gallon jugs. We didn't have to find dump stations very often. We dumped once and had the two hookup sites, what, three times, two times. It was absolutely amazing how little fresh water we used and how infrequently we had to dump. So it worked really well. We came home, we did empty the composting and we do have water in our gray tank, but our next scheduled trip starts out at a full hookup local place um, that we'll go there for a couple nights, commuter camp, and then head north for a little trip. Uh, if you have any questions about the nature's head, please ask them in the comments below and hope this has answered some of your questions about why we installed a composting toilet in our R-Pod. Thanks for watching.